I'm James. Hi, and I'm Frank. And we're on a scavenger hunt with riddles. We'll be looking for six simple machines today. And the seventh simple machine, or wait, it's a compound machine because it has two, it needs to have at least three simple machines in it. A compound machine has two simple machines in it. Now, a simple machine is a machine made up of basic parts that make up one whole thing that makes life easier. And what is the first riddle? Now, the first riddle is, I help you move things that are heavy to lift. I roll around and around on the ground. What am I? Uh, a wheel and axle. Really? A wheel and axle, okay. I think so, because... Oh, yeah, because it has the axis in the middle, and it spins round and around. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, okay. Let's and try to think of an example. Maybe a bike? That's right. There's two wheel and axles in that, because if you lift up one end and you spin it, the wheel spins on the axis. I think I've seen a wheel and axle around campus. There's some over there, around over there. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're out here on campus. Back with Frank and James. Now, we're looking for a bike rack. Can you let us know if you see one? Hey, James, I think I see one. I see one, too. It's, it's over there. Let's go. You ready? Turn it off. Turn it off. Here's the bike. There's the bike. You see the wheel and axle right here? Here's the wheel. And what goes in between is the axle. So when you lift it or when you're riding, it goes spinning round and around, which helps you move and tread across the ground. If you didn't have a wheel, you would have to scoot it all over, which would be very hard. Might as well just walk. That is the purpose of the wheel and axle, and many other simple machines. Now, what is your next simple machine? Okay, since you found out the, found the wheel and axle, we can cross it out. And now it says, okay. So the next riddle is, I'm also wheel and axle, but I do different things. I lift heavy objects high up by tying it to my rope, and when you tug, what am I? Hmm. Let's see, what could it be? So Let's it see. has a wheel and axle, but it has a rope connected to it. So you have to pull it to go up. Maybe the rope is through it. A pulley. A pulley. But Makes what perfect we sense. What will we find a pulley? A pulley could be a flagpole? Use a flagpole perfect because that's what you use to pull up the flag. Oh, I see one. Do you see it in between the cheese? Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. There it is. Here we are with the flag pulley, as you can see right here. Bo bam. There's American. actually there is actually a pulley way at the top. If you can, if you can't see. Okay, this is the rope of the flag pole that so, you would need to pull it down, and so you on the other side it would go up. So watch if you look at the pulley. When you pull this thing, the pulley makes the other side of the rope go up, which pulls up the flag. But when you pull this side, it lowers the flag, see? Because it's all possible because of this wheel that's up there, wheel and axle that's up there. And then the rope is on one side, and then it goes like that. And then once you pull one side, the other side moves up. Now, the pulley is the basic of the simplest machine because it can be found anywhere. Just like the flag pole, it could be found in a claw machine. It could be found pretty much anywhere with games or anything. Thanks, guys. This episode, this episode has been lots of fun. We'll see you next time. Uh, we, we'll be finding the four simple machines and then our special set machine that is a compound machine. Bye. And happily, Frank got fired since he wasn't cooperating well, but we got Mark. Okay, so we found the flagpole. Now, what is the next riddle? The next riddle says, I am high once in one side, then as you walk more, I get lower. I help travel from lower areas to smaller areas. Who am I? Um, oh, I know where it is. It's an inclined plane. You know where we can find one? Uh, no. Maybe, I think... I think I know. Follow me! Do you guys know? Now, these are my high place. Now, while we walk, everything's getting higher, right? And now, we're on a lower area. 
Oh, is this your Yes, it is. Yay. Good thinking, Luis. Okay. Do you know what the next riddle is? Yes, it says, I am sharp. My job is to to hold things in place. And I have a spiral on my on my body. And then I can penetrate many objects. What am I? Uh, I don't know. We should ask this guy. Wait, wait. It's a screw. Yeah. Maybe he has one. Uh, Do you have a screw? Sure. Okay. Is that a screw to one? Yes, yes it is. Look. See, there's a spiral part to it. And there's a pointy part which can go into things. And it probably can hold things together. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next riddle, James. Next riddle is, says, I am sharp. My job is to split things. And it says, I can be a fork or a knife. Who am I? Uh, I think it's a wedge. A wedge? A wedge is something that can penetrate things, right? Yes. So yes, it would be right. Where can we find one? Ta-da! Oh, maybe this is thumbtack. Look, it is sharp, and then it can split, it splits this, it makes a hole. So it can penetrate things. So this is a wedge. Whoopee, we found one. Okay, so we need to find one more single machine. Uh, can you read the riddle, please? Okay. I can't read it. Okay. I have a fulcrum I lay on. When one side moves down, the other side moves up. The closer the fulcrum to the object being picked up, the easier it is to pick up. Who am I? Who am I? Let me apologize for his behavior. Oh. A lever. Okay, so, as we said, it was a lever. I wonder what a lever is. Maybe, so is it a science room? Maybe a tribe balance? Which is right there. Yeah, right there next to the camera. Okay, this is this is this is a lever because the fulcrum would be right there, and then once you pull on something, see how the the other side moves up on the fulcrum. The fulcrum stays in the same place. So, but this right here is heavier than this, so this part goes up. That is how you do the fulcrum. Okay. Okay. So. We need to find at least one more uh, compound machine. Uh, and he said at least three. So, three single machines. So, what what, what might be one? I don't think a book would be one. Maybe. I don't know. And he said one, at least three single machines. Oh, wait. I have these scissors. I have a compound machine. What simple machines would this have? Uh, well, it definitely has a wedge. Yeah. And it may also be a lever because it's right here. You push it down, and this one we just went up. So, and then the last one, I know you can't see the spirals much, but this thing is a screw because it holds it together and moves up and down. This is a compound machine because it has three. So we have completed our scavenger. We had lots of fun here, being here, among you guys. And, find, and describing simple machines and explaining them. And. Oh, too bad Frank wasn't here for the rest of the video. Yeah.